Alright guys, this is just to show my pulse motor. Um, this is the size. <clears throat> I had the larger one and the uh, magnet went flying and uh, so I decided to go small. These are half inch by quarter by three eighths. Oops, stop there. And this is the coil. This is the reed switch. I just have this set up so it can be set where I need it easier with the weight. Uh, it's connected to this little tiny circuit board. Not much there, just the LED. One little cap. And then the power comes in off the battery here. I made this homemade little battery holder. It's a nickel metal hydride rechargeable. Uh, full charge. 1461. Spins up pretty fast. I haven't measured the RPM yet. I'm going to try that later. But I wanted to go with a smaller rotor. Just everything is easier to work with. She spins up pretty good. Get that reed switch in there. Now you can see if I mess around with the timing, I don't know if you guys can hear this motion, but you hear it working down, back up. And then we're going out of time again. And there's this LED flashing. And we can back up. The read until she stops. It's probably best to start it up really fast and then introduce, turn on the circuit. That way you don't waste any power starting it up. Battery, I don't remember what it was before. Um, it's real simple. Fun to play with. I got the capac I got the coil a little bit at an angle here. I was playing with it back and forth and... So far, it just seems to be the best. No closer, no further out, and no more angle or this way. But, running pretty good. So it's going to be a fun little uh, platform to work off of. I just used some of my old whip mag stuff to whip this together. Um, made things a lot quicker. I do that a lot. Alright, see you later.